Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nick. So I am down here at the shop. It is about 12.45 in the morning. I think it's June 10th, June 11th, something like that. Anyway, um, so I uh, finally thank you so much, uh, Nick Humrick on the Suicide Slabs group. Um, got uh, got your, uh, your head bolts. Um, that you sent out. So big shout out to Nick Humrick on the Suicide Slab Group uh, for sending those out to me. Um, I had a hell of a time trying to figure out what the, uh, the bolt size was. Uh, and of course, since I have the, uh, the heads out, um, uh, there was really no easy way to get this uh, block out without uh, the correct size. Um, and I had a hell of a time finding, a, uh, finding those bolts. Um, at Home Depot, Lowe's, any of my local uh, parts or uh, hardware stores. So I um, decided to try to, to source some uh, original head bolts. So we got four of those. Um, there's my lift right there. We got a two ton lift. Um, so just to give you a rundown of what we got going on, um, I was able to remove the, uh, the uh, torque converter bolts uh, to the flywheel. There's four of those. Uh, pulled those, um, got about five, I guess it's five, um, possibly six, um, uh, transmission bolts that mount the engine uh, to the tranny. Uh, still have yet to get those um, taken off. Um, I've got the motor mount bolts taken off. So as soon as I get these, uh, these uh, tranny bolts um, undone, and I'm going to mount up the uh, the hoist, the engine puller, and finally pull this block uh, out of here. Um, man, it's coming up on about a year since I've had this car now, and I and I didn't really anticipate um, doing like a full rebuild or a, a refresh, just because the motor actually, uh, when I got it, um, the previous owner, I guess he had the car for about a year, and he was never able to get the car started. Uh, but when I got it, I put the uh, uh, Petronix uh, uh, kit into the distributor and um, uh, hooked up a gas tank and an uh, electronic pump to the car or to the uh, uh, carburetor and was able to get it started. And when I got it started, I was um, kind of surprised to hear that this thing runs really, really well. So I'm not gonna do a full on rebuild um, because when I tested the compression before I took it all apart, the compression was good on all, uh, all cylinders. One thing I did discover while I was down here was that uh, at some point they swapped the original 430 out with a 462. So this is a 462 block. Um, I can't be sure if this is the original transmission or the transmission that came with the uh, 462 that they swapped out. Um, either way, man, I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to get this block out. As soon as I get the block out, um, I'm gonna be rebuilding the, the heads and really just reconditioning everything. I'll probably tear down everything on the front of the motor um, to make sure that uh, we don't have the, the smaller little thermostats on the back side of the uh, water pump. Just kind of see what the condition is of everything. When I, when I started it up, I mean, it all sounded really well, but um, before everything goes back on, I'm gonna make sure that it's, that it's legit um, and once I pull the block out of here then I'm gonna take some time to recondition the whole engine bay um, got all the materials to do that I think for now as I do this I'm just gonna do a poor uh, poor POR 15 coat um, sand this all down um, get it as bare as I can and, and as clean as I can and then I will uh, uh, do a poor 15 um, coat on here and then um, I was thinking about a uh, uh, I guess it's rust-oleum hammered or possibly like a, a, a truck or a bed liner um, under here just to make it look good make it look clean so anyway I just wanted to kind of check in with the slab fam and let everybody know what was going on with me down here at the shop um, just kind of give you an idea <laughs> where I'm at so this is called Puddle Town Studios, and there's these little 10 by 10 uh, music studios down here in Portland, Oregon, which is kind of cool, but uh, we got some uh, flex space, um, which is uh, really, really nice to have. These guys over here are my neighbors. Um, well, this, this guy, Kevin, uh, he does high-end interiors for these uh, newer step bands um, and is expanding. So 
This is, uh, just to give you an idea of my space, this is my Chevy P30 food truck that we're also renovating, trying to uh, get our food truck business on the road. But I told myself <laughs> when I got this, when I got this 61 last year that, you know what, um, we at least have to hit up the, uh, the drive-in movie theater out here in, uh, in uh, Oregon, at least by the end of the summer. So um, once I pull this block, it really shouldn't take me too long to kind of clean everything up and um, take some, uh, uh, well shit, uh, I don't even want to, <laughs> I don't even want to say, but yeah, I'm just going to clean everything up and, and clean all the gas, gasket material off. Uh, probably put a new oil pump underneath, um, probably put a new uh, fuel pump push rod, even though I'm thinking I might plate that off, but have the option later on um, and go with an electronic fuel pump. So uh, lots of good stuff. Um, yeah, shout out to the Slab fam. Hope you all are doing well and uh, we'll check in soon. All right, take it easy.